Hi Virgos, how are you doing? Coming in for your 1st to the 15th love read. Just seeing what's going on, seeing what energies you've got going on for you for the beginning of July. I'm using the uh, Psychic Tarot by John Holland, Liv. I haven't used this deck for so long. And we're doing a, my 3 two, one spread. Okay, really quick, nothing major. We're not going at it. We, you know, we're not... Oh, I mean, it's unveiling all in front of your eyes. It's just energy. See what's coming up. It may not resonate. Tag what resonates, leave the rest. It may not be your story. And sometimes that's a good thing. Trust me. Okay, my lovely Virgs. What song we got? All of me. All the best. Um... Okay, 1st to the 15th of July, so we have to take those in then. Okay, the bottom of the deck, we've got temptation. Okay, so that could be you're tempted, someone's tempted. It doesn't always have to be a third party situation. It also doesn't have to, but we are talking love. So you could be tempted to go to someone, could be tempted to contact someone, could be tempted to be a bit naughty, possibly take what resonates first off we've got memories of love so there's certainly a love there that is on your mind and will be on your mind between the 1st and the 15th of July um for whatever reason there's an, there's someone certainly you're not with it's not who you're with this card it's for sure memories of another love memories of somebody else okay and here oh Virgs I hate when a Virgo is sad and this is so sad Suffering in silence. Oh, you my muse. Um, suffering in silence. So there's something going on, and it could be. It, well, it's love reading, so it definitely is. Is you're suffering regarding this, this, this old flame or old love that's on your on your mind. You're not talking to anyone about it. Maybe you've got no one you can talk to about it. But so you're just sitting there suffering in silence, and it's going round and round and round and making you a bit crazy. Oh my god, I said that as he said crazy in the song. And yeah, and your brain, look at that going round and round and round. Your brain's going, you know, fast and fast. But I also feel like if you're out and about at night, you watch the stars. If you was a shooting star, you'd make a wish, that person contact you, etc. etc. Because I don't feel if you're thinking and suffering in silence, I don't feel you're you're going after somebody here, Virgo. I feel like you may be wishing upon a star that they'll come after you or come back to you, whoever this memories of love is. Oh, my Virgs. I hate a Virg when they're sad. It makes me want to give you a big squidge. Um, but, yeah, your brain's accelerated motion. Your brain's going nuts over it. What did I say before I even looked at that card? Suffering in silence. Your brain's going nuts. Now, here we have the truth card. It's also a Libra card. Could be dealing with Libra. doesn't have to be. Who else we've got here? Capricorn. Fire signs. Okay, it doesn't have to be. But it could just be that, you know, the truth needs to come out about you thinking about this old love the truth needs to come out and you need to find the balance in your life for you and you could well be putting that into motion at the beginning of july this past person you're suffering in silence with that you want to go forward to you want communication you want fast-paced action you maybe you want to come forward to them with the truth lay it all out get it all balanced balance that karma that could be that for you guys but I feel, once again, with the Virgo who loves to sit there and procrastinate and not do a lot, you're going to just trap yourself in fear. I feel there's a situation here, Virgs, that you're not leaving because of fear or moving forward from, okay? Because of fear, out of fear, because you're choosing comfort over courage. Now, I'll be honest. I find courage far more attractive than comfort, okay? So what you're doing is you keep choosing comfort as opposed to being courageous, okay? Which is why the memories of love and suffering in silence in there and trapped in fear. Fergs, can I just give you a hug? Okay, but the truth needs to come out. But here you are. You're just going to sit on your laurels and not do a lot about it. Rest and rejuvenate. Now, we all need to rest and rejuvenate for sure, for sure. So what it is, Fergs, here with that as well, temptation to go there with an old love possibly but they're on your mind you ain't talking to anyone about it you're probably lying about it if anything you want to communicate you want that notion the truth is either got to come out you've either got to tell it or it's coming out but you're trapped in fear to move no courage just fear so what you're just going to stay there so really this situation is not going to change because I feel like, folks, you're the one that needs to come forward to this situation, whoever this 
memories of love is. You need to come forward and you blooming want to. Look at that, eight, eight and eight as well, nine. Eight months, eight years, nine, nine months, nine years. Take what resonates, six is there as well, okay? It could have been four weeks, months, maybe that you haven't spoken. I don't know. These numbers do resonate. But listen, Virgs, I just want to give you a hug because don't be trapped in fear and suffer in silence. Talk about it. Speak to someone. Find a buddy. Get it off your chest because it's just whirling around and around your head. Virgs, please take care of yourself and I shall speak to you soon. All the best.